Are you alive, my boy? What's good, guys? Oh, this hideous man. What's up, y'all? It's Tyranitar2, but welcome to Pokemon Legends Arceus. It's freaking here. Boys, before we move on, shank that like button. This is episode one of the series. This has to get out there. This has to become a banger. I need y'all to shank like for me, okay? 5k likes. Let's try to reach it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. No! I don't want to be greedy with this. What if you went to sleep one day and saw this? It's like you've died. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Why would we be speaking Arceus? What is this? Now, I wish to know thine appearance. You can't just say your? What is thine? Okay, bro, this is me. Then why she pose like she has something to tell me? What is thy name? Arceus tripping. Why is Arceus talking to us though? This man has nothing better to do. This man's ruling 9 billion galaxies. Damn well. Yeah, what's up? Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures I call humans call Pokemon. It's Professor Arceus. <laughs> Why do you have oak speech? Who would have thought that the ninth professor is Arceus? Damn all. This is sensual, bro. He keeps saying my name. Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Oh, bruh. This man wants me to find him. This man is testing me. Who am I, bro? Oh, oh, shoot, bro. Oh, uh, so, well, huh? Damn, bro, he's torturing me. He gave me an iPhone just out of hand's reach. Just, just go swim and reach it, bro. Arceus, creator of the iPhone. I shall give it to you. You can have it, son. Wow, bro. Really? It's mine? Thank you, Lord Jesus. I mean, Arceus. And then he hold me like a baby. Hey, hey, yo, this feels like a Zelda game. This is not Pokemon vibes at all. First off, Arceus didn't even exist until now. Game Freak never acknowledges it, aside from the movie. Now this man got a whole game? Okay. Wake up! Oh, do wake up, won't you? Ancient mom? Oh yes, the starters. This is kind of crazy, dude. This is so different. Boys, before we move on, I've entirely avoided the leaks. I know none of the leaks of this game. I've been following the rumor train, but all of that crap don't even mean anything. I don't know if any of it's real. I don't know what any Pokemon that are in this game that we haven't seen before look like. You're gonna see my reaction to everything. Like, legit? I'm freaking so excited. Are you alive, my boy? What's good, guys? Oh, this hideous man. He doesn't look like good news. He looks like, you know, he is hiding a secret. Look at me, bro. Naked on the shore. Who are my parents? You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness, you seem unharmed. Uh, who is you, bro? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand? Come on, who in the world does that? I fell out of the sky, bro? Where- who am I then? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I don't know, bro. Hey, yo. My character is sad, you know? Facial expressions. I see, you seem to be in quite a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around you you could stay? Dude's gonna invite me to his house. First off, why does Mount Cornet look so threatening? Where are we, like 3,000 years in the past? These mans have seen some crap. I don't know, bro, I don't have anywhere. So you don't even know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? I don't know, fam. Give me that Cyndaquil, look at those flames. What you thinking over there? I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Okay? Where'd you find these mans? Oh my, I completely forgotten. I just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's as almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Okay. Ah, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Not exactly. Unbelievable, this idiot. Y you don't? You truly have traveled a long way, haven't you? 
Well, these three here are what you call Pokemon. Very mysterious creatures, you see. Marvelous. Oh, yes. And what might your name be? I'm Tamo. Oh, so you're Tamo. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. It mean Tamo. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Lavington. Nasty. You ain't the professor. Arceus is the professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three here. What? That's right, idiots. Run away. This man's shady. Just look at him. Who has nine hairs of mustache? Oh, blast and bother. My darling Pokemon, why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you can help me round them up? I beg you. Okay, bro. Wait, you three. Wait. Boys, we're about to play. Oh, look, the indicator looks like Arceus. Oh, boys, nah, nah, this is actually... What the... Stop it, bro. Get up. Man, you ain't hiding from anything, my dude. Oh, my boys. Boys, this is insane. I know no leaks or anything. So, like, I can't even tell what happened in the start. Like, did I wash up on shore is what I was thinking. But then he said I fell out of the sky. Like, bro, this is my boat. I sailed here from a distant island, Prelude Beach. Okay, so this is why I went with this layout for this game, because I want you guys to be able to see the whole screen. I don't want my face to cover anything, you know? And then I can zoom into it and it, you get immersed in it. Alright, let's go to the indicators. This is kind of crazy, bro. What's here? Footprints? It's my phone! Ours just really upgraded my iPhone. Okay. Ooh, bro. This is so sick. Okay, bend over, pick it up. Oh shoot, the iPhone 20? Damn, bro. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared. Arceus got my freaking phone number. Who am I, bro? You know who I am? I'm like Arceus's creation. The sucker just sent down to Earth to have fun. It must be. Like, what other... It makes no sense. He picked me out of any everyone. He made me, bro. He made me as a human. He wants me to just explore for fun. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and die mission. Seek out all Pokemon. This man is so lazy. He just wants me to go find all the Pokemon. It's like he dropped a sack of 900 Pokemon. And he's like, shoot, can someone count them for me? Oh my lord, this is so beautiful, bro. Like, I know we, uh, we got Breath of the Wild and crap, but this is just so nice. This is so nice. This is so much better than Sword and Shield. I say that with three minutes of full experience of gameplay. Ha, uh, alas, yet another miss. Uh, I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. Maybe you were just high. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. Oh, interesting. I'd love to give you a go at it. Perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first? Aw, these chubby mans just wandering around. That one is Rowlet. What's good, Rowie? Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. Then keep it away from me, bro. He's gonna cut me. No, bro. No, no. My boy! Look at this guy. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it is surprised or irate. Okay, bro. I'm gonna... I wanna cook it. This freaking honey badger. Okay, this ninja, bro. He Naruto ran. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Is it not censoring something? Plish plash. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. Damn, what are those pants he wears? 50 Pokeballs? You can't just go around giving everyone 50 Pokeballs. Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Okay, so they're strange creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. This is a thing Pokemon can do? They didn't even say the Pokeballs shrink them. They said Pokemon can shrink. That's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are recent inventions. You throw them at a Pokemon, and the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside. Comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know you've just met, but I, I, I love you. I'd be grateful if, if you loved me too. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in the area. It's always a nice touch when the professor's ass at being a trainer. It's cool when they're specifically good in one field. And I like him. I thought he looked kind of ugly, but now his ugly's grown on me. Oh, boys! No, give me that back! I was testing it! I was freaking testing it. 
This is how you pick your starter? Ashuat! What's good, my boy? Kick me. Kick me. You really couldn't catch this man? Like, he's not even running- Get out of my face. Boys! What is this game? This is- This is freaking sick. You've caught a Pokemon. It seems you got quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Tamo. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Oh my god, I'm helping him kidnap them. They're not his Pokemon. Oh my god, let's snipe him. You ready? Boys! Please- What? Saka, that hit you! I'm gonna come smack you in the face. I just heard him speak human. Cyndaquil, my boy! Look what you've done. I just wanna- I can hardly believe it, Damel. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind catch them. Bravo indeed. I wanna try something, right? So I have 45 balls, right? What happens if I'm so ass at catching Pokemon, I lose them all? You ready? What? Did you just throw a Pokeball at me? I'd really rather you not. And why is that? Why is that? He's immune to Pokeballs. Unbelievable idiot. Okay, I wanna see what happens. You see this? This is what I think of you. I don't need your help, idiot. Old man. Look, his head is following my po my hand as I- t <laughs> He's legit watching me throw the Pokeballs. What's this dude doing? My balls. I gave him 50 of these. You know how hard it is to get these? My boy. <laughs> no! No, 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 no. This was done on purpose for hard mode. That's right. Now I only have 10 Pokeballs. Can I just get a bunch more, please? Frick, I just screwed myself. Someone had to do it for science, guys. Someone had to do it for science. So you guys know on the freaking PlayStation controller, the two back buttons, they like change depending on the game you play. Almost thought that was the case for this game right now. Ah, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go. Oh, Cyndaquil, my favorite boy is broken out. Oh, he's right there. Got you, my boy. No, no, you won't break out. Of course you won't. You're my best friend. Big boy Lav. Here's your balls. Thank you very much, indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have just only arrived at the village to help our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. Oh, shoot. No one owns them. As I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, Thamel, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? It's because Arceus made me, bro. He gifted me. I'm a superhuman. Watch me conquer this world. Don't show me your phone. You're gonna burn me like a witch. Seek out all Pokemon. Don't show him Arceus's private DMs. That object is an arc phone, you say. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? Yeah, bro, my pops made it. If you indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile the region's first complete record of its Pokemon. Damn, the ancient professor. I really like this guy, man. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. I have. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have those Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Yep, let's do it, but are you gonna pay me? Shall we help one another out, my boy? Uh... Oh my god, come on, what do you say? Fine, bro. Are you my new dad? Then... Whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then, onward to Jubilee Village. Okay, let's go to the only civilization in ancient Sinnoh, Hisui. Why am I looking at the clouds? Oh, hey Pops, what you doing in there? Damn, that's really the endgame. Some kind of time space storm going on up there but these idiots wouldn't know about it these 3000 year old idiots oh yo nice village you got here uncle who are these mans out front thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe my good guardsmen this young man was great assistance to me and my pokemon so i hope you'll forgive my bringing him to the village for a bit i'm a spy i'm a spy okay i will okay i'm coming in I'm gonna spy and report back to some evil mans. 
<laughs> what is these facial expressions? <laughs> He's disgusted. I love it. I've never had this much energy playing a Pokemon game in a long while, man. Last time I felt like this was like X and Y. And you never thought they'd replicate these feelings with the Pokemon game. That's not even their traditional thing. You know, it's so risky. This way, if you please. Okay, big boy lav. Jubilee Village. It's come a long way thanks to the fine people of the e Galaxy Expedition Team. I understand you must be more than a Ted Curious. Bro, you speaking way too fast for me. The locals of Canela Avenue? Oh my god, I can hear what they're saying. This village was built scarcely two years ago. He's telling me not to talk to them. And since we know so little of the local Pokemon, people hesitate to set foot. Damn, they're actually scared of the wild Pokemon. These dudes don't leave, like it's legit Attack on Titan. They do not leave the village. They don't even know what's out there. We're not supposed to talk to strangers, you know. Damn, that's an ancient lesson. Who's that with the professor? I'm his nephew. Oh, botheration, I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? Okay, unks. It's just past the bridge here, then to the left. The wallflower, it's called. Damn, you know, so this is an English game, right? But all the stuff is still written in Japanese. Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next. Oh my god, you know who I am? I'm literally Arceus, and this is my avatar. Arceus was so bored, he made himself into human and he's exploring the world he made. You know what I mean? Okay, so I gotta go to the canteen, but I gotta see what these bands are saying, bro. God, could you imagine Gen 9 fused with this kind of gameplay? Does that professor know the child? I like this too, they have like preview dialogue when you go around them. We've no food for freeloaders. Survival out here is a daily battle, you know? Oh mama, you speak to me like that. I like it, bro. You know, they usually censor from the kids hardships and crap. But they're being serious here. Hmm, that one looks suspicious. A newcomer to the village? Boys, I like this little dialogue thing. If we want to guard the village properly, we'll need to partner up with Pokemon. Who is you? I like you. And you're one Pokeball. What an odd way to dress. Is that fashionable where you're from? I'm a spy. Someone arrest me. I'm worried about the state of things here in Drupal Village. We lack basic necessities and there's some strange people around. Bro, you don't have to say it to my face. I'm scared of Pokemon. I wish I'd never been brought here. To this world? That's dark. I had a rather traumatic experience when a wild Pokemon attacked me. Now I'm scared to even set foot outside the village. I'd be scared too, bro. A Pikachu could kill like a whole village. And this man is just like roaming around in Viridian Forest. Yo, this is nice. And you know what you'll notice? Like, they've really made the village giant. It's not the same size as stuff is in Sword and Shield. Like, you can really make a town seem huge. What's up? I wonder if there's anyone capable of catching enough Pokemon to fill all the pastures here. I got you. I'll catch like so many cows and put them in your little fence. You can have so much milk. Okay, let's go up to the freaking canteen. Commander Kamado is fantastically strong. Rumor has it, he once sent a Pokemon flying with one of those sumo throws he's so proud of. Yes! <laughs> they finally talk about humans beating up Pokemon. Wait, this isn't good. This is animal abuse, but I just mean like... You can't abuse a Machoke, bro. The Machoke abuse you. You know, I want to hear someone sucker punching a Machoke. What, what's wrong, bro? Is this the canteen? Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? Facts, arrest me. The wallflowers for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Oh man. Nobody wants me. What? What? What the hell? She exists? Oh my god, she exists. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced meat in those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. It's Uncle Lav, man. Perhaps you've met Laventon? He's a scholar from a very far away place. He's like from a different region. His Pokemon do get away from him at times though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a move called Thundershock not long ago and had to take to my bed. Damn, she blacked out casually. But the professor will. I do wonder how long he'll last. What, but without dying? Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Hey, Professor! You see them facial expressions? But everything will be quite alright now. Thamel here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Yo! The faces! 
Excuse me, you plan to point him to the survey corps? You jealous already? You're just on my side. You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Silene's permission. I'll allow it. Silene? Oh, Cyrus! Oh, it's just Silene. Captain Silene? Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team's Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. So these are the men who actually try to explore the region, the Survey Corps. I'm sure they're not successful at all. Probably got like one meter outside the village. What's up, squad? Professor Lamington has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems he'd like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Dude, this is a little real. Man, I really gotta earn it? Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. Sucker, I'm 20. I am 15. Quite old enough to work for your keep. You're really gonna go there, huh? But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, oh a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone. What the hell, man? Fine. I'll eat alone too. Let's see how far we make it. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Benny, old chum. The usual potato mochi, if you please. But make it for three today. Who the frick is Benny? That's Benny? Mm, wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never fails to please. Hey, they're freaking killing the dialogue in this game, you know? The characters are feeling real. I gotta say, the thing with Akari is the fact that she's not the playable character, she's an actual character in the game, it like stamps that she exists. She could be the ancestor to like Don and Lucas, one of them. Professor Lamington, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Ah, uh, well, you know of that great hole in the sky, the one people call the Time Space Rift? Our new friend fell right out of it. Oh, bro, I fell from there. Maybe one appeared above the beach. You can't be serious. <laughs> see, Game Freak? You see what happens when you put facial expressions? This is my new profile picture. Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Facts, bro. Now, you already know that there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. That there are in the grass, in forests, by water, or wherever they like. Our job as the Survey Corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Facts? It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sort of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Damo will come in. He successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order, you understand? Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of such a feat like that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three? We have a hard enough time catching even one when wild Pokemon come after us. Ah, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Benny? Does the survey course really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? This is the man who kicked me out! I refuse to help you unless you kick Benny out. My terms. Your captain just ordered 10 whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. She's stress eating? I'm sure we'll start to rein in on the good captain stress eating soon enough. I called it. Now, have your fill, Thamel. And think, if you make it into the galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. Arceus, how dare you send me down here? It's like I've pissed Arceus off. And he's like, son, go into time mode. Sends me down to the world. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. Okay, Uncle Lav. Nom nom nom. Hey Akari, let's talk later. If you're, you know, free. That was quite delicious, quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Thamel has a trial to pass to join the survey course, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Thamel's skills. Facts, uncle. That's my uncle. Let's hope it's not misplaced. Oh, hello. You look 10 mochi potatoes heavier. Thamel, was it? For tonight at least, we'll provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters here. Man, I will slap you in your sleep. You treat me like this. I will pee on it's the floor. But if you fail to pass the trial we put you on tomorrow, you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death in the wilds. Yes, this is always what I wanted. 
to get killed for people that mention getting killed by Pokemon. Yo, Game Freak's entered a new stage. This is how dark I've always wanted Pokemon to be. Not you, Silene, okay? Oh, I'm dark. I'm edgy. Silene. How good could you be, huh? You're the captain of this crap. How far have you gone past the village? Captain Silene's somewhat like Hisui in that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Can I sleep? Wait, can I bunk with you, Akari? Yes, good night. Please don't walk away. Oh lord, what's happening? A rift in the sky, people falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. Damn, bro. I thought I was a local villager, bro. I really... I'm a superman in this world. Let's go. This is so clean, my boys. Like, this is juicy. Let me look at my arc phone. Yes! Juicy, bro! Like, Masuda, you didn't tell me you knew how to make games like this, you know? Look, it's the freaking Hisui region. My next task is to go here. Hide! Silage is around somewhere. What the hell? What are you shopping for at the middle of the night? The captain of the survey course, Silene. I wonder if anything actually scares her. I clearly scare her. She's scared of me if she wants to kick me out of the village. Idiot. Guess what happens to your descendant, huh? No one even knows. This man just disappears. He disappears the same way I came into this world. Damn, a pot to piss in? Investigate. A nice fire in the sunken heart can help keep the entire room heated. Really, bro? Okay, I will keep this in mind. Rest until morning? Yes. This is hitting him spots, guys. God, I really want some other people. I want to recommend this game to some of my friends. Oh, dude. Is another spot appearing? A bear. Another spot is appearing. And that's the freaking... Oh, boys. I'm going there right now. Those blue, yellow, red colors, blue, green, red colors are like the time-space colors from like the platinum cutscene. The next day... Okay, Silage. I was in this place the whole time. I did not cause that. Good morning, Tamil. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Today's the day of your trial, sir. Let's give it our all. Aw, she's checking up on me. That's so very sweet for you to wake me up from my peaceful sleep. What is this? This chest looks like it could store a lot of items. Oh my god. If I pass the trials, this could be my home. Please be my home. Look at that freaking loading screen. Akari, you're wearing the same clothes again. What lovely weather we've got. I hope you had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. I did. Let's get to headquarters. Captain Silene is waiting. Uh, can you take me there, holding my hand so I don't get lost? Hey! Okay, you could have said no. She just walked away. Where did she go? I wonder what a Starly would like. Uh, a Starly would like, like, orange berries. Yeah, yeah, buy these, okay? I got you. Is your name Meryl? Marley. Okay. You know what's cool about this game is that with recent games, they'll be like, watch out for that Pikachu, it uses lightning moves. What the professor said is that they don't even know what the Pokemon's typings are, what moves they use. We're literally uncovering the Pokedex entry that we find in the modern games. No Pokemon has any entry right now, and that's the sickest thing right now. Let's go meet Commander Kamado. I'm sure he's gonna love me. Hi, Akari. The survey course offices are here on the first floor. Don't give up, keep those eyes open. Who the hell is Pestle? The wild Pokemon, they, they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against the whole pack outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical corps will put you to rights. Damn, these mans got ambushed. That man's with the security corps, and even with his partner, he took a beating from wild Pokemon. <laughs> I know that's serious, but that sounds hilarious. Like he had one job to guard the village and he got beat up. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. Akari, what's your partner Pokemon? Captain Silene Tamil is here. Bro, she's like the freaking Hokage. She don't even do crap. She just does paperwork. You may enter. What is so important in all these papers? Watch me do no paperwork, but uncover the region. Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the expedition team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Field Lens and catching three different species of Pokemon. Badoof, Starling, Shanks. This is stupid. I'm 15? You're gonna make me die out there to prove that I'm not useless. How about you train me to go out there, huh? This is freaking strict as crap. 
catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy team has ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? Man, I'm never telling you my secrets anymore. My trial should be simple enough for him, if the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. He was! The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. You gave me so much of a harder task, bro. I'm stealing that Abra. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. You're an ass to the cause. I will lend you one of our Survey Corps satchels to carry around. Thanks. I hope this is disposable because I'm going to die out there. Damn, bro. I'm. This hurts my stomach. That satchel doesn't exactly match your uh, mode of dress. Akari, I expect you to step in if anything goes Ari, 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 Ari. Okay, boys, our first mission. And the craziest thing is that I don't even have a Pokemon. Pardon, Demo. Come with me for a moment. Please give me a Pokemon. Don't make me go out there naked. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. What's up, Unks? Is something the matter, Professor Laventon? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Damel absolutely must pass this trial. Yes! Help me cheat, Unk! And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. Yeah? My starter! Let's go! Get away. I love you. And I love you. Okay, I love all the starters, okay? But you know what I'm about to pick. Go on, Thamel, pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Why disappoint the other two if I- why don't I just pick all three? You know, they love me, obviously. Damn, bro. Gen 9 is gonna be so good. God, especially going from BDSP to this, you really see what happens when you know how to just freaking make a nice overworld. It's time to pick our starter, and I've been thinking about this for a lot, and I know the starter I'm gonna go with is Cyndaquil. Now, remember, the rumor that I don't know if it's true or not is that these starters' this final evolutions will be different. So, I don't even know what I'm picking in actuality. I know my friends are picking Oshawott and Rowlet, so I just wanna go Cyndaquil. Let's go. My boy! What's good? Yes! Do you want Cyndaquil? Yes, I do. Cyndaquil got fire for once. This guy don't got fire in the games. Damn, bro, you slow, but kinda cute. Dude, I wanna eat you. And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Good show, I've tucked Cynical back inside its Pokemon for you, so take it, it's yours. Yes, my boy, thank you. What's good, Cindy? A word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. That's freaking hilarious. That feels like an actual mistake you could make. <laughs> You just throw your empty Pokeball out to protect yourself. They look as if they're cheering on their friend Syndicate. Damn, they, they're they nice people. Or perhaps they're jealous that it gets to help you with your trial. That's what I thought. That could be well. They did go dashing from the village when Thamel fell out of the sky, after all. Well, not to worry you two. I'll have you assist me for my research for now. By the by, what species has Captain Silene charge you with catching? Like freaking Starly and crap, bro. Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Field Lands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial then. Can I have another 50, please? I won't make the... I won't do it again. <laughs> I could have had 47 Pokeballs, bro. I used them all and ended up with 10. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat, as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. Bro, thanks for the optimism, but I'm actually getting eaten out there. You'll have to leave the village for your trial. Turn left after you exit headquarters, then head for the gate. This has been really well done so far. Let's go, look at this. I got myself a freaking Cyndaquil. What's good? Cindy, see, I called her Cindy. Did I not call her Cindy without even knowing she was a girl? Boys, I know Cindy when I see her. Cindy? Cindy just got quick attack, and Cindy is timid. Cindy, Cindy is perfect. Arceus made this Cindy for me. This is actually the perfect nature. Oh, you jealous. You jealous, Rowlet and the other man. Where are they? Wait, let me go back. Let me in, please. No, this is the Great Wilderness. Let me back in. I want to meet the other two and rub it in their faces. What? Not you. Out of my face. I can't meet Kamado? Up there is Kamado. You can't meet him. Okay, bro. I don't even want to meet them. I want to freaking... Where have everyone gone?
This is this is just mutes. It's hard to guess what this is supposed to do, but it certainly looks impressive. Oh my god! I knew it! They're freaking still here! Like, they don't just have Pokemon pop up for cutscenes and disappear. They've, like, crafted the world well. So we got Rowlet up there. Nothing seems relevant to you? Bro, is this existential? Now, where could... <laughs> what the frick? Why are you in there? I guess Syndicate would be here. So freaking perfect. Okay, boy, so my mission is to catch a Bidoof, a Starly, and a Shinx in Obsidian Fieldlands. I don't have any requests, but I'm here, and Obsidian Fieldlands is all the way here. She really want me dead, bro. Gosh, she's so mean. Why could she be mean? I kind of want to go ask around and see if I can pick up any requests, though. Like you. You can throw spoiled apricorns at wild Pokemon to make them drop their defenses. You know what? I don't think we can do requests until we beat the first mission, so let's just do it. Oh, Akari, the only, the only light in my world. Oh shoot, it's the Ginkgo Merchants. Okay. Oh, what a curious getup you've got there. I can already tell you're quite the character. Where is your other eye? I am Volo of the Ginkgo Guild, the go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hisui. Oh my god, you have a crush on him? Why you pose like that? I've heard about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've got a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. That's right. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant success. So, what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Genko, man! Let's go! I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I like this man. What? I also heard about this trial you're attempting. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping. Oh my god. This man isn't even just a random merchant. He's an actual character in the game. Okay, bro. Why you kind of look like Cynthia's ancestor? You got a Togepi? Damn, I'm pissed. <laughs> this is so intense. Let's go. Here we go. Classic Pokemon battles. It still exists in the game. I'm quick attacking you. I don't know how to do no Agile style crap, so this is all I'm doing. Damn, is this Togepi freaking stronger than me? Oh, look. This is the action order. I'm so much faster than the Togepi. I'm going to quick attack it twice right now. What's good, quick attack? And what's good, quick attack? Oh, Cindy's too good. Sorry, my dude. Battle decided. Moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. Hey, this is juicy, bro. I'm level 6? I learned Ember or something? What have I learned? It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. But so few people here have their own Pokemon. If only more knew how to use Pokeballs. Wow. At any rate, let me help our two battlers recover from their little exercise. So it's really rare to be a Pokemon trainer. Like, for real. And to you, my Skyfallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. I like this guy. He's so involved. This man's not even just a normal merchant. He's an actual character. More Galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. Akari, you know this man? Stop looking at him. Look at me. She's literally looking at him. That's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Now, to the Obsidian Fieldlands, you want to watch me get eaten. When you're leaving Jubilee Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map and tell Rest the Guardsman where you're going. That way, someone can come to your aid if you're knocked up by Pokemon. Your child begins just a short way past that front gate. Listen, Akari. How about you give me Starly, Badoof, and Shanks, and I tell Silage that I caught them. Like, you could be saving my life right now. Okay, boys, I'm gonna end it here. Go on and shank that like button. We're going to the Obsidian Field Lens, but I know this crap's about to be sabotaged because something fell out of the sky just like me. I freaking love how dark this game is. Guys, 5k likes, I'm uploading this again. As soon as it hits 5k likes, I'm uploading again. We're gonna kill this game. I've never been this excited for a game since X and Y. Alright, boys, see you on the next video. Take care. This the sound of my alchemy, the greatest success for all those who fell for me. I always respect the friends who wish well for me and live until the end and die. Old time will tell for me, but I ain't going anywhere, believe me.